The Philippines and China set to restart joint oil exploration talks. According to Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo, the Philippines and China are set to restart discussions on a potential joint venture for oil and gas exploration in the West Philippine Sea. The announcement by Manalo came as the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, reported the appearance of 20 Chinese and Vietnamese vessels in the waters surrounding Sabina and Ayunjin Shoals, as well as Pagasa Island in Palawan. Two Chinese Coast Guard vessels and a People's Liberation Army Navy ship were observed by the BRP Malapasqua during a maritime patrol in the Kalayan Island Group from March 16 to 21, 2023. According to the PCG, it issued numerous radio challenges to the vessels but received no response. The China Coast Guard vessel 5201 followed the BRP Malapasqua as it patrolled Ayunjin Shoal on March 21. According to the PCG, the incident has been submitted to the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea NTFWPS. Manalo stated that technical discussions would commence in about six weeks. He stated that Beijing suggested the oil and gas talks, focusing on the terms of reference. The Philippine government's stance, according to Manalo, will be guided by the Constitution, which will serve as the guiding principle in the negotiations. The Philippine position has always been that we will be guided by the constitutional requirements in any negotiations we undertake on oil and gas, and that is how we will proceed in the next round," Manalo said. The Philippines and China signed a Memorandum of Agreement MOU, in November 2018, agreeing to form an intergovernmental joint steering group to investigate potential energy cooperation. The MOU also states that each country's working group will consist of representatives from enterprises authorized by the two governments. However, during the final months of the Duterte administration in 2022, the Philippines ordered the suspension of the talks with China, claiming constitutional constraints and issues concerning the country's sovereignty. According to reports, the West Philippine Sea, especially near Reed Bank, is abundant in natural resources such as oil and gas. Meanwhile, Manalo stated that a final agreement on the South China Sea Code of Conduct CLE, between China, the Philippines, and other ASEAN nations was still a long way off. There are so many issues to consider here because this is about how to manage incidents at sea, he said. You need all the countries to agree, which takes time. And then there are the larger problems and political issues such as whether the code will be legally binding or not, Manalo explained. The COC aims to avoid potential tensions and conflict between the South China Sea claimant countries. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is slated to attend the ASEAN summit in Indonesia in May, and plans for his state visit to the United States to meet with President Joe Biden are also ongoing.